Hey folks, welcome back to the Taylor Brooks or to the show series here in MLB 23 PS5 episode 418. Games like the last one just make you want to cry, don't they? You go full eight innings giving up one run and your team gives up eight more later, so that's awesome. Huh, okay, well, three gamer against the Twins and then we face uh, the Boston Red Sox next. We haven't seen Boston too much since we've left. Uh, the AL East, but they just never got it going, um, basically. And, oh no, where's uh, Devers? Is he out, like, for good? Rafi Devers is a free agent. Someone should have signed him. He hits righties like a madman still. That's That's a pretty bad no sign. Anyways, we stink. Um, I don't really have much hope for this team. <laughs> Win one, lose one. I'll slow it down, I guess. Keep working stamina. Another loss. Gotta win that one. Nope. We stink. 34 and 41 currently. Uh, we've got the Red Sox, who are 31 and 45, so... Let's do it. Just about ready to go. Sorry. I'll stop. So Dingler behind the plate. Carson Williams in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Which means still plus 10. I think today is the day plus 25 finally hits. I hope today is the day. And that's in for a strike. One and one. Carson fouls it off. Well, Rafael Devers is still a Hall of Famer, regardless of if he gets picked up again. Popped up, right popped up and that will be two down. Manzanillo puts it away, and there's two away. Zach O'Neill up next for the Over 2,500 career hits, over 500 home runs. In there for strike one. From the third base position, that's quite insane. <coughs> and flips the corner. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters... Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Next pitch misses. Ball one. One two to Zach O'Neill is hitting the cover off the ball this season. When he's gotten to play, I guess. Hitting three forty four. He's and got a hit here. A little here. bloop. And it drops in. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bats. Here's James Outman, who's had an abysmal year. Last time we saw him, he was having an abysmal year. It doesn't seem like it's gotten much better. He has two hits. Four barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough. Means he's like two for 30. Well, Hitting in the four hole today, weirdly. No, really I'm gonna go for this corner this again, and I'm gonna hit it at least once. Not really. He just swung. Two outs. Fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Chop, tough play. He's got it, and that'll be the end of the first. Nice. Bottom of the second. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. All right, Marshy. Ball strike right there. Brooks, an all-star a season ago. He features a two-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider. You better go, Taylor. And occasionally uses a cutter. And there's one down. One down. So digging in, Kyron. Marsh has played a long time. He's played a good career, too. He only is playing 23 games this year, but he's got 1,600 hits in his career. I mean, you don't get that many places. And a 
and a bunt towards third. And he grabs it in foul ground. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing at two. 0 oh, 2 to Kyron Paris. Didn't go. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, we got the call. Bad call. Two down. So your shirt and apostle. Apostle. It's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. No score here in the second. Cuts Good pitch into the second. Dang. Double from the bottom of the line. The top three didn't even get the line at all. Just three straight outs. Good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Cross getting the starting catcher. 27 years old. And he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Swing and a miss. One ball. And a count two one strikes. and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. That one now? The best pitch there. Here it comes. In the dirt. Strike out the catcher. And that'll be one down. And throws to first. Lead off and retired here in the third. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Donnie Cole. Young first baseman. That Donnie. Yeah, that's Cole. Cole. Foul ball there. is fouled off. One, two. Pitch mm. misses right, inside. Ball, yeah, the count is two and two. And hey, he did. Two down. He goes back to back strikeouts. Back to the top of the lineup. Digging in, it's the speedy So it's Robert Hassel, Robert Hassel, the third again. And first offering is fouled off. Hassel measures six feet two inches, 195 pounds, and he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last ten games. Left hand hitter waits. High fastball. Just nope. Missed. Pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. That one lifted to left. He's got it. Carpenter Carries all over. End of the third. Red Sox go down. Another double. Cannot get him in. Bottom of the fourth. Now here is Carson Williams. That's a strike. And it's 0-1. And strike two. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The wind of the pitch. Got him. And there's one Good away. slide piece, one down. And next for the Red Sox, Zach O'Neill. Picked up a base. Zach had the weak single. That one's in the there. first. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. Into the He's got out. a second hit today. Mm, okay. Dominant performance for him. Today. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just a Outman with a hit. So I don't think Need Carpenter to get it in. He might have a chance here. Oh. Found no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Well, here's strikeout situation. That's not the pitch for it. Keep it low. Mm -hmm. 
I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Go get it, Brandon. Oh, he didn't swing. First and third, one down. That one ran and swing again. Almost got him. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss. Ah, it's definitely a fastball. That's going to have to do it. He stared right at it. Okay. Two down. Big K there. First pitch doesn't find the zone. O'Neill, the runner at third, out at first, two out of the inning. Now one to one. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. Throw it again and find it this time. There we go. Hit it well, but it's going to be playable for PD out in center into the fourth. Taylor showing a little bit of emotion, and Feliz goes deep, one nothing. Heck yeah, dude. Back here at Fenway, bottom of the inning, and stepping in for Boston, Shurton Apostrophe. That clips the zone, going to one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Next offering misses, one and one. And a pitch. And a count, one and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox. 150 on the year for Taylor. First offering and it just misses. We're still trying to get that plus 25. It's needed, dude. We are not throwing many strikes. That's trouble, actually. That's just carrying. Oh, Ben. Really bad jump on that one. That was loud contact and a no doubt double off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen, though. He's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Runner at second, two down. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. I'm here. And that'll end the fifth. Makes the play, and that is that. Come on now. Put up one more. Offense is struggling today. Again. Brooks back to work. Strike one. Oh and one. Ground ball right side, and that's just foul. Got it. Hey, did one down. Man retired in the sixth. And next for the Red Sox, Zach O'Neill. Swings through that one. Oh, one, one. one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch. Oh, That's a strike. Uh, he's been on our side most of those today, so. Can't really complain, but this dude is two for two against us. Well, when I throw pitches like that, it makes a lot more sense. on the ground. Two down as Gunner plays it. Makes a strong throw to first. Gunner still got that good arm. Every now and then it's playing down. I don't know when it is and when it's not. Or maybe it's playing up right now. No, that's just his arm. I don't know when it's. It's, it's weird sometimes. It is ninth season. 36 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. So Altman got his third hit of the year, which he needed desperately. Sox still haven't scored today. They are looking to here late in the sixth. And now the count filled up three and two. 
Only a one-run game. Foul ball. Ninety-seven, good pitch. And he goes down on strikes, so just like that. We're into the seventh. It's still just a one run game. Feliz is like four for four today, three for three. Impressive day from Feliz. But it was really not that bad. For seventy one overall. Faster player. Marsh struck out in the best situation the Red Sox were going to have to score. Just go beat him with a cutter again. Why not? 99 in the seventh from Taylor. <clears throat> Love to see that. That's a strike anyway. Okay. Are you sure. I think we might have gotten to the plus 25. Nope, not yet. We've tried to get Kyron a couple times with this slider. He hasn't bit either time. This time he puts it in play. Feliz, a long way to go, but he makes the play two down. Swing and a miss, and a count one and one. Go get it. Not the best pitch I can make in that situation. And a pitch. Pitch number 92 is just out of the zone. Popped in the center. We're good. Petey's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. Let's break and go, Benito. I'm a fan of Benito. He goes deep again. And makes it 4 nothing. Stepping in for Boston, Donnie Cole. First Whoa, offering misses the mark. Strike anyway? Uh, no, it wasn't a strike anyway, actually. That's a swing, according to umpire Matthew Ross. Next offering is down low. Now just about to hit that century mark, a hundred pitches for this game. And now two and two. two, two Here you go, guys. Let's go. Needing two, four, two. five more outs, four after this pitch. Blows Told you. He two down. A strikeout. So up next, Robert Hassel the third. to third gets it to first and that'll do it nothing to Three. Ball four. Three. last chance for the home team now here's the Red Sox DH Carson Williams that's a little bit hmm. he's been so sharp today even over 100 pitches thrown 
His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. And that is cut on and missed. And it's one and one. Here comes the pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And a ball in two strikes. Going for another complete game shutout. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Obviously never an easy feat, but Taylor's made it look easier than any other pitcher in MLB history. Might be... Swing and a miss. I mean, and we might hold the record for most complete game shutouts at the end of our so career. In, I don't know about that. Some of those go goons in the, the pass pitched so much. Oh, shoot. Next one misses, and that is ball one. Oh, I'm kind of missing my timing. Okay. The Zach O'Neill guy needs to go down. All right, one, two. Hey, yeah. Next pitch is inside. It's two and two. Here we go, guys. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one. Nope. Feeling really good mm. about what he's working with. And Needed that, that one. Really allows a guy to attack hitters. We've thrown a lot, but coach is trusting us to finish this out. Wow, look at the break. Just nothing left on that break. This is basically just a fastball. And on the ground, Felice has it. Taylor Brooks has brought back bad memories for the Boston Red Sox. He shuts them out again. And the Mariners are victorious 4-0 here. 14 Ks in nine innings. One of Taylor's better starts on the year, obviously. And we will gladly take that. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks episode 418 in the book.